Trader, Coach T from TackleTrading.com here, and I want to show you a tutorial on how to use the Analyze tab within a paper trading account inside Thinkorswim provided by TD Ameritrade uh, to be able to assess your portfolio risk. Now that was a mouthful, but let me show you what it is. This is an advanced tool and a very common tool used by many traders out there. You know, uh, it doesn't matter you know, where you're from. The better you can understand your risk, you're going to appreciate a tool like that. Here's the Analyze tab. Here's the Add Simulated Trades window, and you'll notice that it's all blank. Now, in this paper trading account, I have reset the account so I don't have any positions, okay? When I go into the Analyze tab, there's several things I can do. I can start to add positions in one at a time to hypothetically map out what kind of profit I could make or loss I would take if I did in fact take a trade. Uh, let's start with like Apple Computer. Once I plug in Apple Computer, I see the bid, the ask, the last, all the different expirations and options available. If I click on the asking price, it will then bring in 100 shares of stock. Now, let's say that I was in, a, in the market and I decided I wanted to buy that. Well, great. Then I go in and I put in AMD and I do another one and I find 100 shares of stock and then all of a sudden, I have two different hypothetical trades. If I continue to put trades in like Netflix and eventually maybe I'm doing options as well as stock, a common strategy would be something like a bull put vertical. I would analyze a cell and do a vertical and I'm building a combined options and stock portfolio across different assets. Now, if you look at this, I have three trades. If I take them all out and I, I make it blank, it will show me the three trades. Whenever I enter a symbol as I'm going, it's now combining them together, right? So how do I assess the total risk of owning Netflix, AMD, and Apple at the same time? One of them an option spread, one of them a smaller stock at $23 per share, and one of them at $170. And you can even imagine, as I get more complex, maybe I buy Boeing as well, you know, an industrial company, or United Health and get a healthcare stock. And then all of a sudden, the more complex my portfolio gets, the more complicated of a question I have is how much risk am I taking? This is where a tool called Portfolio Beta Weighting can very much help you. There's a button right here inside Thinkorswim where it says Show All. When I'm simulating portfolios like this, what I would probably do is hide any positions. So in case there were other trades in there, I'm going to hide them out. So I know that I'm only looking at the simulated trades that I just built. I then right here where it says Single Symbol, I'm going to do what's called Portfolio Beta Weighting. And now my trades are being measured against something. Now the beta symbol that kicked in here automatically was SPX. That's the S&P 500. That's a very common one to use. But what if I use the SPY? SPY is the Spider S&P 500 ETF Trust. It's essentially the market. And here's a question I would have for every trader, every investor out there. If the market goes up, how much money do you expect to profit or lose? And if the market goes down, how much money do you expect to profit or lose? And are you comfortable with that amount of risk based on your portfolio design and how it is you want to approach the market? When we're reading the market, we have to make decisions on, well, where we think things are going to go, you know. When it's going down, generally you want to trade it or hedge it or do something in a bearish fashion. And when the market starts to go up, you want to be in a more bullish fashion when you're investing. You can measure what that risk is here inside the price slices. Now there's a tool called the Tackle Portfolio Journal. I use it quite often when I'm working with, with traders and clients and whatnot uh, to help them understand how to, to measure these kind of things. What you do in the Tackle Portfolio Journal is you put in a date. Let's say that this account value is just for round numbers and that's what they start you with in a paper money account is $100,000. And out of the $100,000, we've used a lot of our capital and maybe we only have like $20,000 left. 
First thing that the Tackle Portfolio Journal will do is tell you what your percent allocation is. The total number of trades that I just clicked into this uh, Analyze tab to simulate is one, two, three, four, five. Now out of the five trades, all of them are bullish. So in this particular portfolio, I would have five total trades, five bullish trades, zero bearish, zero neutral. And then you get to a question called beta weighted delta. And what we're looking for there when we're measuring this risk is we're looking to then beta weight, beta weight against something that we stay standard with over time. It then will tell me, because I'll show you how this works. Every individual stock has their own delta. You'll notice like Apple, 100 shares on its own, has 100 delta. When I beta weight against SPY, it will convert all of those deltas into one delta for me. The delta in this portfolio is 387.55. So I type in 387.55 and there I have my number. Theta is an options mathematical characteristic. I do have a plus 1.89 theta. That's for you cash flow and option, options traders. It then gives me some numbers to look at. My portfolio delta factor is 0.39%. And let's say that in the market conditions we're in, I have a plus one market bias and I am bullish, slightly bullish with the current trend. Just for an example. Now, imagine how much value you can get by tracking your portfolio day by day. Many traders out there, they journal individual trades, but they don't journal their portfolio, which is why the Tackle Portfolio Journal exists. Now there's a tab down here called Delta Weighting. Using the Delta Weighting tab, I can better identify how much delta is appropriate at different market postures. 400, 700, or 1,000 delta reflect aggressive delta positions on a $100,000 portfolio. If you reduced your account down to 50,000, then the delta limits would change or the delta guidelines would change. So how much delta you take is dependent on how much money you're trading. If you have a $300,000 portfolio, then 1200 delta is a lot and 2100 delta these are bullish numbers but if you have a three thousand dollar portfolio then you should probably only have like 12 20 or 30 delta so how much delta you carry is dependent on what your portfolio size is your portfolio design is and then also your risk assessment because remember and this is a question i have for every single trader if the market moves a certain amount, how much money will you make or lose? For example, in this portfolio, if the market moves 10%, the profit should be 10,600, and that's an estimate from Thinkorswim beta weighted against the SPY. If the market drops 10%, then this portfolio would have about a $10,900 risk. You can map out as many scenarios as you want. I've changed all these to percentages and I'm going to set them all up with a different window. Now that I look at this risk profile, I have a picture that helps me understand the portfolio risk if it was designed this way. So upward movement in the market, these horizontal price slices inside Thinkorswim, they correspond to the vertical lines inside the picture. And the further that we move upward in price, that means that the chart is going up in price and it estimates where our profits and losses would be. And if it goes down in price in the market, we're estimating how much loss we could take. 
Now here's the skinny. This is trying to estimate it because we don't really know exactly what the impact on individual stocks will be. They don't always correlate exactly to the market. There have been plenty of times where the SPY goes up and say one of these different companies does not. So you still have your individual stock risk, but a tool like this can help you better assess your overall portfolio risk as you build and design your portfolios. This has been Coach Tim, TackleTrading.com, and getting the game out there. You know, the thing about the investing world and these software tools, there's always three general areas that I recommend every trader learn how to use and start with when they're a new trader. You need to build your daily routine. And there's a video course called the Seven Step Guide to Trading on TackleTrading.com. It's a free course. Go and take that course. It will teach you a basic trader's and a very good, simple, step-by-step -step approach to how to run a daily routine. Number two is you need to build your strategies. You know, in this example, I was long stock and a bull put spread. The strategies that you decide to use and in what fashion, that's part of your portfolio design. And you need to make decisions about that as you're building your playbook. And then number three, the third area is your software tools. Learn how to use your journals and your websites and the tools on tackle trading, including that tackle portfolio journal. And wherever it is that you happen to broker, you need, you need to learn how to use those tools. You know, there's a lot of great stuff on how to measure your risk and enter trades and understand them. Uh, the more time you put into that, uh, the better you're going to get a payout on that from rewards. TackleTrading.com, get in the game.